More crime fighting tech is popping up in the form of black cameras. Those flock cameras are also known as automatic license plate readers. Yeah, police officers, they're using them in daily investigations to nab criminals off the streets, and they say that allows them to do it quicker. Andre Norrells, he joins us live where more of these cameras are popping up. Andre? Well, Jeff and Kaylee, Sylvania recently added those traffic, excuse me, those license plate reader cameras to their streets, and they say that it's going to help them get those criminals, like you said, a little bit quicker. But one community member we spoke to says she's not too fond of the idea. Danny Fuller is the owner of Fuller Art House in downtown Savannah. She's lived in Savannah for about 10 years and thinks these cameras might bring fear and concern to residents. Savannah is a very safe community. We have a great we have a great town and I think there's a lot of other things that we could be investing our time, money and concerns with. Chief of Police Denny Lynn Miller says these cameras will benefit everyone coming and leaving the city. Your business owners for the shoplifters that are coming in town and leaving, your people that are having their cars broken into and we get a description of a vehicle. You know, then we can look them up by a description of the vehicle, we can look them up by a plate. Miller says part of the reason they added these cameras was the success of other departments like Perrysburg. We've easily had a, a couple dozen successful um, things, whether it's that or you know, stolen vehicles, stolen license plates, things of that nature. Petersburg City Council approved 10 more cameras to get installed, adding to the seven they already have. Police are also able to access the cameras of other communities, like Toledo, that uses this technology. Miller says this isn't a sign of Big Brother tracking everyone's moves. It's not a red light camera. It's not a speed camera. We're not getting any monies back for putting these up. If anything, we're paying to have this added safety feature for our residents. To the tune of $3,000 a camera per year. Fuller says she's not completely against the cameras, but would like to see money used for things that are needed in the community. If they have the evidence to back it up, I guess that that's something that probably should come forward with some of the information that they're sharing with us. Now, since the Sylvania police says that since installing these cameras, they've caught a hit and skip suspect. They plan to upload uh, stories like that one, more success stories, on their website. Reporting in Sylvania, Andre knows WTOL 11.